Well, how about that? She's actually going to do it. Memoirs of a Geisha is the most bah, 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 bah. Every step I have taken has been to premise. Sounds good, Tanya. Be sure that the scanner's turned down and move over to the left a little bit. Thanks. Memoirs of a Geisha. Ready PG-13. Opens everywhere Friday. All righty, boys. Now smile. Oh, that's a good one. Perfect, honey. All right. No, 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 no. Come Travis. On. I need to get some more. FYI, we do have a light out in the studio. We have called engineers, but obviously... Uh, they probably will probably won't be until after the news cast to get here. <sighs> one in the center one. Oh, here, I'll show you right quick. Oops, I get this up here. Yeah. Two is where it's really bad. Yeah. We thought the weather three shot was going to look bad. Oh, shit, you know. Pop that work up, Jacob. Ready for control. Thank you. Didn't realize it was that close. The evidence is clear. 80 million viewers and counting have made CSI the number one show on television. It's indisputable. CSI, then. Ten seconds, stand by. Camera two. And music. This is what she seems to me. That's what really happened. Without a trace, CBS Thursday. Cue the music. We'll have the latest on two local towns without heat tonight. Yeah, no. man is caught on tape stealing Stand by VR. From a cemetery. KOM News at 10 is next. Roll it. Check the VR. Thank you. For 27 years now, treat yourself today. Toyota, moving forward. Roll it. Tag it. Crap, here goes the buttons again. Hey, you know it. A gas company works fast to heat up the homes of Southeast Kansas residents. Firefighters face obstacles in their quest to create a Christmas for every Stand by VR. child. And an emergency ordinance in Joplin tonight could save time and money before an arena is built. What? Take the VR. That was not what I had in my scripts. Stand by camera two. Zoom. Come. Homes and businesses went without heat today after a contractor hit a gas main. Good evening, this is KOA of News at 10. I'm Rhonda Justice. Not now, quick. Clear. Stand by for a view on five. Gas crews in Kansas had to shut down the mains while the company repaired. Roll five. Take it. First had to purge the system and then had to relight all pilot lights. Clear. Stand by camera one. Come on, Doug. In Walnut, Kansas. St. Paul School District is in class for tomorrow. Crews hope to have huh. all the heat back on by midnight. Kill him. Ah. The warmer weather is on the way. Uh, choose an insert. Soon enough for some of those families. Meteorologist Doug Hetty joins us now. Yeah, it's going to be on the cold side once again tonight. Temperatures dipping down into lower 20s, 22 degrees when you wake up in the morning. 37 by the afternoon hours, mostly cloudy skies. About 10 degrees warmer than what we did see today, but still below normal for this time of year but we do start to heat things up a little bit stand by one over the next few days and of course we're going to talk more about Kim, that stand by two okay thanks q him camera one desk stand, stand by full screen Guatemala is accused of killing a child she was babysitting in Carthage. on the full screen year old eva carmela alvarado pack store is charged with first that's a degree involved that's a mouthful stand by camera two According to the Carthage police chief baby juan carlos gomez died from shaken baby syndrome kim a man already accused of Stand by full screen. people in the Joplin area is now accused of doing the same thing in the Tulsa area. On the full screen. The Oklahoma Attorney General says he became uh. involved in the investigation after this man was arrested for crime. operating the Yeah, you're right. Office. It just, it, that, that light is really making, from Robert making Winters a big thing. Boosty the artists have just a little fake bit. Collection boxes. Winters is charged yeah. with unlawful Stem. merchandising in Jasper no, County. Hold on. Let's say he set up fake collection boxes in 200 area stores. Stand by camera one. The collection boxes claim donations go to the Special Olympics. There's no word yet on possible charges in Oklahoma. Cure. Southwest Missouri firefighters are working around the clock to make sure every four-state child gets something in his Stand by newsroom. Christmas. But they're running out of time and manpower. Kim. KOAM's Tanya Bach joins us to explain why Stand they're by newsroom full. a special event to make sure Santa's delivery is made in time. 
Joplin and area firefighters had to cancel their annual Christmas for Kids dinner tonight. Newsroom is full. Stand by for a package in six. The beginning of their Row six. Take it. We had 108 orders and cards. Uh, 137 Stay less than the week. Terry comes in at 19. Twice, but this year, Southwest Missouri um, firefighters have twice as many stockings to fill. Okay. I bet there's, looking at that, I bet there's over 100 right oh, there easily. 108 in Carthage alone. There's more families now, uh, just Son. mainly maybe due to the gas prices and everything else, just the expenses that we've had Clear. to deal with this year. Okay, that's it. That's Terry all I have. Says they'll have um, toys for every child in this year's Christmas for Kids program. Two the trick is getting the toys can go ahead and get a Christmas. desk. There's not really one that goes untouched. Yeah. I've delivered packages up to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day myself in the past. The Joplin Fire Department has collected toys for the program for the past 15 years. We just try to find them something really cool that they might like. Because Each year, it usually hands the gifts out at an annual Christmas dinner. But this year's feast had to be canceled. Steen says there just wasn't enough time. I remember the last time you know, I tied my shoes, I screwed something out. <laughs> toys, get my shoelaces get packaged. He says it didn't help that several of the Christmas for Kids funders backed out this year. So we've had some step down this year, not not supporters like they have in the past, and uh, of course we. I'll get the other one in the we break. Feel that, but uh, hopefully they'll get back on board with us next year. That that's been the the, the hard thing this year is that it's taken so long to uh, receive those and get that in the works to where we can fulfill those orders. Ten seconds, stand my newsroom. Orders that, regardless whether you're on Santa's nice or naughty list, will need to be delivered in less than a week. And cure. Steen says if you are on the program's list, you can Stand help by camera stopping one. by the Toy Warehouse, 529 East 9th Street in Joplin, to pick up your toys. Cure. He says the firefighters going to go straight to seven sure next. Every child gets something special. Stand by seven. Stand by Q Dower video. Time well spent. Joplin. Bob, thanks for that. Row seven and take it. Cure. Him. Two desk, one insert. Voted to get an Clear. View on the proposed multi-purpose events center. The group Global Entertainment Corporation has proposed building the arena in Joplin. The city council wants to get a third party independent review before it gets in too deep. Stand by for a bite, Nate. For the city council on tonight's agenda as an emergency order. Roll eight. Take the bite. But next, really next. Didn't see any reason to drag out through public for 60 days. 13, so. type of information. Uh, feel like anybody would Clear. Have any Stand by camera two. Uh, with us going out and asking for that type of information. Kim. Mayor says Stand by camera an one. Independent review of the proposal now could save the city time and money in the long run. And cure. Send my for review on five. Two's an insert. Finishing touches on its enhanced wireless Row five. one program. Take it. Labet County Emergency ah. Services received a seventy-seven thousand dollar grant from the state to upgrade technology. The county already installed phase one, meaning dispatchers can see a phone number. One's a desk now. When someone calls from a cell phone, this grant will be used for phase two, which will allow emergency personnel to pinpoint a caller. Stand by for a bite in six. Dispatchers say the new technology will help. Roll six. Take the bite. People are quite often too. Uh, uh, 15 upset seconds. Not really sure what. Clear. Pan to the right just a little bit. Help them because we don't have any information. There you go. From Stand by the one. This will enable us to find them, pinpoint them, and tighten up just a little bit too. Where they're at. And cure. The federal government uh, that was not the right out. Emergency services to get enhanced wireless 911 by December of next year. Labette County Stand by two. to have its system installed by June. Cure. You can't have your social security number as your driver's license number in Missouri any longer. The new law took effect today. Now, anyone currently using their social security number will be given a different driver's license number. Federal law prevents the state Stand from camera any one. ID card containing a social security number. Cure. You might be voting on whether screen. to raise cigarette taxes in Missouri twice this November. On the full screen. Two groups want to raise the tax by eight cents a pack, but the groups don't agree on how to spend the money. The committee for a What's healthy up? future wants the money to make Shit. pay for Medicaid benefits. Oh, okay. Oh, she Medicaid said eight. Okay. The Alliance for Health and Justice proposals says that won't do anything for those who lost their benefits. Stand by camera to two. And Medicaid coverage and increase payments to doctors. Thank you. And one's a two shot. In Oklahoma say they'll push for tort reform in the next legislative session. They hope tort reform will eliminate frivolous lawsuits and help the business community. Republicans want to place caps on damages for pain and suffering and on contingency fees for lawyers. They also Stand by camera one and music the bump. With strong cases to win judgments 
without going through trials. Cue yeah, music. That is a check on tonight's top stories and weather in our first seven minutes. Next on KOA, for a bite and and seven. we'll tell you who earned the honor Kansan of the year. First, the latest on a plane crash in Florida. Roll seven. Take the bite. Six a seconds coming up. Stand by eight. Stand by to cue. Someone over video. We'll have details coming Roll out. eight, take it, QM. Stand by VR. Roll it, and take the VR. Okay, one is a two shot, camera two is a desk. Down quick. Ronda Justice. Meteorologist Doug Henning with Skywatch 7 Weather and Chad Pline Sports. Your Midwest Ford dealer. Second, standby camera one, and a VO in five. <laughs> and QM. An explosion in Missouri killed two people. Row five. Take it. Win. Two others saying a meth lab might be to blame for the explosion. At the very end of the segment. At the end. Oh, in the segment, okay. Neighbors Clear. They heard the explosion and called 911 around 4:30. Standby PT2. Roll it. On the PT2. QM. A seaplane has crashed. Stand by for a package and six. All its occupants. Brian Andrews has the latest. Row data. six. Take the package. Rescuers were still searching for. One thirty standard. Uh, camera one insert. Camera two desk. Twenty people in all, including three infants and two crew members, died when the plane carrying them from Miami to Bimini in the Bahamas crashed just after takeoff Monday afternoon. The plane went down in Government Cut, the main shipping channel at the tip of South Beach. And there's a big piece of the fus fuselage that's still underwater, and so I imagine that's pretty, uh, pretty big. And Claire. I know that there, we've seen small bits of luggage and whatnot uh, afloat. The seaplane had just taken off Send. following its usual route of departure down Government Cut past the cruise ships and the high rises of Miami Beach, which Claire. is why so many people in the high rises and on the beach hey, witnessed the tragedy. This that. fisherman says he saw an explosion. The wind came off and he just fell straight in. No, I'm not taking it. Uh, uh, he did, uh, next one will come in. Roger, don't come into 113 anyway. Photo of smoke rising from the Try now. When the explosion uh, appeared, uh, okay, he doesn't come in at all. There you go. What the heck is that? The vintage seaplane, similar to this one, is operated by Chalks Ocean Airways, touting itself as the oldest scheduled airline. Chalks has been featured in TV shows like Miami Vice and has had only a few problems. Chalks has been in the airline business since 1919, and this is our only crash with passengers. Claire. Investigators okay. don't know That's what it. caused the crash, but the FBI is also investigating because of the unconfirmed reports of an explosion on board. Brian Andrews, CBS Semi two. News, Miami. QM. A Democratic state okay. senator in Missouri see, wants to make all Missouri, elected yeah. officials traveling on official business fly on the state airplane. This comes after the governor was flying on a corporate... As soon as I take Rhonda, Ryan, get a quick two shot. Governor Matt Blunt says he saves taxpayer money by flying chartered or corporate jets. Stand by one. He pays for them with campaign money. Cure. Missouri's Board of Education go to, yeah, there a plan you go. that would change the way states grade assessment. I am going to need it really fast. Stand by two. The proposal would change how well students must do to be considered Stand by proficient two. in a subject. QM. You're going to get it? It's, I'm already on it. The honor Kansan of the year. McBride is best known for her No, because I need the bump next. Go ahead, give me the bumps. Screw it, don't worry about it. Just give me the bump. No full screen. The native sons and daughters gave McBride the award. Inside of her work with various charities as the reason for this year's honor, the group... They're going to chat here and then stand by for music, stand by seven. And besides all that, she can sing. Did you even know that Martina McBride was from Kansas? I did. I didn't did know you? where, but I knew she was from Kansas. More than me. Hit it. <laughs> Later on Roll seven. News Take it. Stand by. Uh, Joplin. Stealing from an Arkansas cemetery, and it's all on tape. What's up? First meteorologist stand by Gunner eight. Joins us with a complete Roll eight. Forecast. Take it. Stand by VR. This high-speed chase in Missouri where police are chasing another squad car. Roll it. Take the VR. Wow. Thank you. Glad you caught that. Two WSI, St. John's WSI. Hold on here. Two WSI, St. John WSI. Thank you. Uh -oh. First. Thanks. Stand by camera two. Meteorologist Doug Hetty with Skywatch 7 weather. Featuring Doppler Zoom. Give him. 
Well, a cold, cloudy day outside for us today. Highs only into the upper 20s, which is a good 15 to 18 degrees of blow Clear. below where we should be. Blow. This time of the year. Did you say it looks blow? Looks like hopefully we start to warm up a little bit over the next couple days. Now, as we look back, we're looking back at each month of huh? 2005. March, mild month. We saw blow. highs in the 50s <laughs> and 60s, about an inch and a quarter of know. rain, which was low for the month on average, but two severe weather outbreaks mm. at the end of the month and even a quarter of an inch of snow at the beginning to. of the month, which gave us a grand total for the season of seven and a quarter inches of snow, which is well below the average of 15 inches. So not a very snowy gonna, winter season. I'm gonna have to adjust shadow here. Last year piece of crap. for us across the area. We have mostly cloudy skies Damn it. right now. 27 Son is where we stand. Bitch. Joplin Airport East winds light at about five Come miles get off per this hour. Tub. Pressure has been rising. Humidity, not bad, 46%. Just the only bad thing are the temperatures. They are definitely cold. Right. 25 in Joplin, yeah, Seneca, 26, 28, Anderson, Carthage Anderson. at about 25, Nevada, 27, 26, key is Fort crap. Scott, Chanute, 25, Chautauqua, 26, Commerce is sitting at 27 degrees in these temperatures with a cloud cover. Won't fall back too much, but we're going to hold out right. into lower 20s. One little weak wave down to our so southwest across tonight. Oklahoma has been producing some light snow showers that will mainly track to our south. We have high pressure. We usually see clear skies with high pressure, but due to this wave, the clouds are staying fairly thick, and I think we might see a flurry or two tonight through tomorrow morning, and then that's about it. There's just not much going on across the central parts of the U.S. So if we look out to the west, we actually have a huge dome of high pressure. Our jet stream shoots way up into southern Canada and then drops on top of us, but as this ridge works its way on top of us, our temperatures yeah. will start yeah. to increase upwards, said, so more March. mild air over the next yeah. few days. For tonight, well, the clouds will December. be thick. Yeah, but he was talking about March. The oh, then she's tomorrow, she's she's like, she Yeah, she's confused. Because the other day, he was talking about rainfall, and, we and it said February. Hours, yeah, that's he's doing he's doing each month for the rest of the year. Well, that saves me from having to go back and Temperatures cold, 23 of Doug's confusing our viewers. 36 by 5 it's not very but hard. better than what we did Camera's clear. today. And our snowfall watch, well, looks like rain chances Friday and Saturday. Right, they'll probably chat a for a few seconds Christmas, between police chase and snow snow chances, chances, Okay. Really the following week, right before New Year's, and then again came. right after okay. New Year's. So we will cool. keep our eyes mainly on those chances for snow down the road. Tonight, just a few flurries flying, 22 degrees, light and variable winds. As we Variable. jump into your Tuesday, 37 degrees, so better than what we saw today. Actually, about 10 degrees warmer, but still below normal. And then finally, by Wednesday, we shoot near 50, 60 on Stand Tuesday. Stand by camera one. And then we'll have to keep our eyes on that system over the weekend to see if it pulls in any more cold air to maybe give us a chance for some snow near Christmas. But cool. Chances Stand by two-story after. Yeah. And if we do Still today, it there. probably wouldn't be much or wouldn't stick around. Yeah, make it sound terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Just being a realist. Kim, stand by for a V on five. In Missouri were chasing one of their own squad five. cars today. Take, Take it. Look at this. Officers say a juvenile stole the car <laughs> and led police on a 30-mile high-speed wow. chase down Interstate Claire. 44. You said in between this one. Five in Jefferson County. After about okay. 20 minutes, police say the driver ran over stop sticks, lost control of the car, <laughs> wrecked in the median. And as you saw, police surrounded the driver and arrested him, hauled him off to jail. Police in another squad car, I imagine. Police say Stand by two. left the car unattended for a moment at Lambert Airport while <laughs> helping with traffic. And you know, you turn your back for a moment. Kim, stand by six. Take a police car. Yeah, well, the guy was using his lights. As Eventually. And using away. the lights to get away. <laughs> there you go. You. That's one that Bless you. For, and it's easy to spot, too. <laughs> Not very smart. Now, KOAM wants to honor all of Roll our six. state heroes. And Take tonight it. we say thanks to Frontenac native Mark McCauley. The Army Lisa botched my grandpa's up Saturday night. Oh, God. His name is Orlin, and he put so Arlen the as the Mark still. Stand by to the bump. Fade it out and cue him. Music. Stand by seven. Still alive in the AFC, but barely. Sports director Chad Klein has postseason video details. Take it. Plus, it's a battle of two undefeateds as St. Mary's Carl Junction. Highlights are on their way. Sports is here. Really?
Detective AR. <laughs> yeah. My grandpa will laugh it off. He hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, Mike 3210. Okay, thanks. years, it's been the greatest time to buy the Toyota you're looking for. I have just glanced over. All I have to do now is the morning show stuff, and I think we have everything. Loosen up a little bit on one there, Margaret. Among the lowest fuel cost in its class, but this amazing car also gets 34 miles per gallon. Plus, Camry was rated an excellent value. Loosen up a little more until the place is your Toyota dealer. The time is now. Treat yourself. Today, Toyota moving forward. Stand by camera one. Tune. And good evening, everybody. It's a battle of two undefeateds on the hardwood tonight. Defending Kansas Class 2 1A champions, Sam Harris Colgan, adding Carl Junction to their schedule this year. CJ, stand by five. Colgan, Row five. Take it. Something's got to give at the Colgan Activity Center. Pick it up in the second quarter. Bulldogs up by five. Joe Walker ahead for Brett Norris for the bucket and a foul. Three Clear. Play. Score There's over video. The board. Couple boards. Bulldogs come right back. Payton Bennett. Okay. Pass to Two. A flashing Jordan Burton for the nice bucket. Then just seconds later, Jacob Fowler taking it himself coast to coast. Bulldogs back up by six. Panthers Jeff Smith, though, something to say about that. Driving to the hoop for two. That cuts the lead, 38-34. Bulldogs, though, were strong on the boards in the first half. Offensive rebound. Steven Tackett, a nice fadeaway J. And then fadeaway J. A defensive rebound. Gets it ahead for Jordan Burton. Oh, that's a beautiful. Uh, a beautiful athletic deuce. Eight-point lead by CJ, but then Jeff Smith says, I have your athletic bucket right here. Driving the lane. <laughs> up and good. Okay. Smith with 36 points tonight as Colgan comes in. back to take the game. A final of 30, I'm sorry, 76 7. Clear, Colgan board. Still undefeated on the year. On the board. The high school Got one more after this. Lamar all over Seneca, 80 to 58. Okay. And on the girls' side of things, it was Diamond 36, Wheaton 29. Stand by to wipe the six. This is it, right? Okay. Row six. Take it. At the college level, KU taking on Pepperdine tonight. Second half, J. Ah! 28. Can Ray I make then? From beyond the arc, it's good. KU extending their lead to 11 points. Then on the break, Clear. Mario Chalmers. With uh, numbers. let's see. Score Christian video out on one. That's just beautiful. For Sasha Khan for the jam. KU yeah, I was. Oh, uh, it's in. Stand by one. Yeah. The Giants running back Tiki Barber put up 220 yards and two touchdowns yeah. on the Chiefs this past weekend. But and in KC, a loss in a very critical Do game. It. The lack of tackling and the lack of coaching. Oh, for Dick. Okay. Mitts led to the loss. This afternoon, the 69 year old yeah, Dick for Mitts, he's Didn't thinking that. about retirement. But that's all. Just thinking about it, a decision, he says, could come within three weeks. Stand by for a the bite and seven. Retirement comes up especially, Vermeil said, after leaving Giant Stadium with his tail between his legs. Row seven. Take the bite. We were 18 we myself. I wasn't worth a damn. Nobody else was worth a Clear. Damn. We just and, board. Hey, give Tom Coffin his coaching staff. AFC standings, yeah. A good football cool. team. And, and Stand by to cue chat over a board. Division. And, uh, but that's the first time I've seen this team play like that. I didn't even recognize them. So I've got to assume that responsibility myself. Cue them. Here's a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. Okay, Final you have this and then NFL tiebreaker. Three teams, the Steelers, okay. Chargers, and Chiefs. For the Chiefs to make the playoffs, number one, they have, they have three to here, out. back to back. Number two, they have to have cool. the Chargers remain there, two remaining games. Not worried about and it. Number three, they have to have the Steelers lose one of their final two. If the Chiefs and Chargers finish with identical records, the tiebreaker starts yeah, with their head-to-head -head matchup. When it's like that, West it's just a wipe and Then the record between common opponents, followed by an oh, AFC I, I understand. Yeah. record. As I said, KC needs to win their final two, and then San Diego needs to lose their final two. This gives two identical one-on-one -on -one records against each other. KC then has a 4-2 division record against the Chargers 3-3 three and three AFC West record, which would put the Chiefs in the playoffs. But all yeah. this is for not if Pittsburgh doesn't Change it. lose one there game. That's easier said than done. Cool. On paper, it looks like Pittsburgh will win their one. final two games um, and make that final playoff spot. Right. Pittsburgh playing Cleveland and Detroit. Those two teams are combined. Yeah, he just Vancouver. had really long reads on all those. Chargers have to lose to Kansas City and then Denver. Now, that is possible. But that is if the Chiefs survive the Chargers. And Stand by, camera two. Champion Cincinnati Bengals to make the postseason. Hey, and as kill. far as the other cool. favorites in the area, Dallas Cowboys. They have to win out and get a lot of help to make the <laughs> NFC playoffs. St. Louis Rams have been out you of get the playoff time picture for two weeks. This is a puzzle inside an enigma. That's good show. Yeah, more, more numbers, I'm sure, to come next week. Seriously, I did people that. People that was my fault. Stand my VR. All right. We'll take that. Thanks, Chad. Sure.
Up next, stopping a thief with a hidden camera. Probably, and take the VR. Visit Gordon's Jewelers. So with you and yours, Stand by for Merry music. Christmas and a happy new year. Yeah. Music. Stand by one. Fade it out. And cue him. Stand by five. An Arkansas man says he's depressed this holiday season, and that's why he tried Row five. to steal. So Take it. Was one three shot. It's in. On tape stealing a Christmas tree and flowers from a Benton, Arkansas cemetery. Clear. Family members noticed yeah. flowers disappearing. No from final weather. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So they set up this uh, Stand by on one. To catch the thief. Good shot there, huh? Fade it out. Cue him. That's just wrong. <laughs> two white. That's all right. Never mind. Now. Give me a white shot, too. That is good. No. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Stand by for music. For Thanks for watching KOAM News. No, you won't. 10. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's make it a great Unless you want to run fast. Music. Stand by VR. Roll it. Salon VR. Salon services provided by Salon Blonde. 529 Thanks, Mike. In Joplin. Oh, because they did it. At, they did it at noon, and I saw a read in thing on the morning show was doing it. What? The, oh, the set decoration the thing. I asked her about that, and we haven't found, I haven't found it. It's all seasons, isn't it? Yeah, they have it. They use it in the morning. We don't know where it's at. I tried looking for it earlier.